crucial contest. Hey, what are you doing? We're invited to dinner at Grizzly Grand's, and the least we can do is show up on time. Here's your hat, Papa. Brother Bear. Yes, Mama. Dinner at Grand's today. If you had homework, you should have done it earlier. Sister, go pick a bouquet for Gramps and Gran. Yes, Mama. It's not homework, Mama. We have this big science test, and I'm trying to find out how I did. That's all very well, but it's time to get moving. Here's the bouquet, Mama. Oh, dear. Not much of one, is it? But it's all we can expect with this drought. And we're not likely to get any rain today. There's not a cloud in the sky. I certainly wish I knew when to expect rain. <laughs> well, there's always Grizzly Grand's crystal ball. Maybe Grand can predict my mark in that science test. Can Grand really predict the future by looking into her crystal ball? Grand says she can, but frankly, I have my doubt. <laughs> Here they come, Gramps! Hi, Gramps. Hi, Gran. Hi, Cubs. Glad to see you. That dessert was delicious, Gran. The whole dinner was super. Glad you enjoyed it. A penny for your thoughts, brother. Huh? Oh, I was wondering how I did on a big science test. Say, Gran. Maybe you could take a look in your crystal ball and see what I'm gonna get. Now, brother, don't be bothering Gran. No bother. There's nothing I like better than looking into my crystal ball, exercising my mystical powers. Mystical powers. Huh. You hush up, Gramps. Sister, go fetch my crystal ball. Sure thing, Gran. It's on the shelf in one of Gramps' old bowling bags. Okay, Gran. Now, I take it you don't approve of Grant's crystal ball gazing, Gramps. Correct. I don't hold with messing about with the future. Why, half the fun of life is not knowing exactly what's going to happen next. Why can't Grant take up a sensible hobby? You mean a sensible hobby like bowling? Well, it sure beats messing with the future. Here's your crystal ball, Grant. Okay, set her up on the table. Okay, Grant. Grizzly Grum, Grizzly Grum. Get ready to tell the future now. This isn't my crystal. This is Gramps' bowling ball. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all right, sweetie. You just got the wrong bag, that's all. Sorry about that, Gram. I'll get the right one this time. <laughs> you should have gone ahead and read the future in my bowling ball for all the difference it makes. It's true that my crystal ball is sometimes a little cloudy. Okay, Gran, what's it say I'm going to get in the test? Tell me, oh, crystal, there is a certain mark we wish to know. Was it high or was it low? What's it say? Mm -mm. It's not coming through too clear. Let me look. My crystal! It'll be smashed into a thousand pieces! Oh, no! It's headed for those steps! It's not broken, Gran, but something's happened to it. It's... it's sort of glowing. Glowing? Goodness! What do you suppose? That ball must have rearranged the molecules somehow. Well, fetch it up here and let's get on with the prediction. It's hot! Yeah. Hot! Yo! Yeah. Careful! That's no way to handle a valuable... 86! 86 what? That's what you're gonna get on that test! It's as clear as day! How about that? Is it still hot, Gran? No, it's just comfortably warm. I can see all sorts of things. That ball must have knocked the cloudiness out of it. Speaking of cloudiness, when does the crystal predict rain? It's going to rain in exactly four seconds. Oh, but that's impossible. There's not a cloud in the sky. But there wasn't a cloud in the sky. Okay, Gran, how did the Giants-Yankee game turn out? Giants came from behind to win four to three. 
Uh, game should be over. Maybe I can catch the wrap up. Well, that wraps it up, folks. Giants came from behind to win four to three. Hey, it looks like Grand can predict the future. All I needed was to get the cobwebs knocked out of my crystal ball. Now, well, let's not get carried away. That rain and that game score could just be lucky guesses. What about my 86 test score? You haven't got it yet. That'll be the acid test. If Grand's right on that, too, well, I'll just have to admit that Grand does have mystical powers. Mama, Papa, look what Brother got on his science test. 86. And Grand can predict the future. But, Papa, we should keep this to ourselves. Well, it won't hurt to tell a few of our closest friends. Hello, Farmer Ben. Confidential, of course. Predicts the future, you say? Have you heard? Crystal ball, you say? Predicts the future, huh? Crystal ball, you say? Never wrong? Predicts the future. Predicts the future? Never wrong? Predicts That's impossible, you blithering idiot. But if there is such a crystal ball, I must have it. Must, must, must have it! The power to predict the future means the power to control bear country! I'll get it for you, Chief. I've already got a sneaky, rotten plan. To steal it? Better than that, Chief. I'm gonna exchange it for a double glass ball on Squire Grizzly's bird bath. Well, don't you stand there, you slack John o. Do it! A little twist. <laughs> and the deed is done. Boy, what a mom! Out here to get a prediction from Grant. Hi, Officer Marjorie. Hi, Cubs. Mighty nice of you, Grant, to give everybody that wants it a reading. Hi, Farmer Ben. What are you going to ask Grant? Going to ask about my rutabaga crop. They're looking kind of peak. Hi, Mr. Mayor. Yeah, hello, Grubs. Yeah, 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 Cubs. Yeah. I'm just here to kiss hands and shake babies. I'm dead, yeah. Uh, shake hands and kiss babies. Uh. And get a little prediction on the next election. Hey, look! It's Rapish Row. Hi there. Glad to see you. The swindling business must be pretty good. He's getting quite a pot belly. this ordinary glass ball or this magical crystal. <laughs> if I get that magical crystal, my powers will be unlimited. Rub back, Archweasel. Does he have the crystal? Does he? Huh? Does he? I've got it right here, Chief. That doesn't look like a magic crystal to me, Ralph. It looks like a... Falling ball! You addle-pated nitwit! You bubbling bird brain! Uh, uh, there's been a mistake, Chief. I'll, I'll check it out. Remember now, one prediction to a person. This isn't my crystal. It hasn't got any finger holes. Rafish Ralph, what are you doing with Grizzly Gramps' bowling ball? More to the point, where's Grizzly Gramps? Gramps went bowling, Gram. He said to tell you, that wasn't a pot belly. It was the fake crystal ball. Wait a minute. If Ralph hasn't got the magic crystal, and Gran hasn't got the magic crystal, that means that Gramps went bowling with the magic crystal. To the bowling alley! But you got it with Graham's magic crystal. I did? Yep, and the crystal is ice cold. That strike must have knocked the molecules back the way they were. Yep, it's back to cloudy the way it was. 
Gee, Graham, hope you're not too upset. Not upset at all. That predicting was getting to be too much of a responsibility. Besides, half the fun in life is not knowing exactly what's going to happen next. <laughs> <laughs>